Today I'm going to do my best at explaining how to install TTB version 0.7 onto your world. This may get a little bit complicated, so if you have any questions, then just please shoot me a message in the comments. But here we go. So you're going to click on the Mediafire link in the description. If you're having trouble with Mediafire, then I've got some other download links there that I might include. Um, but it should open up a window like this. All you have to do is click download and then save the file somewhere. You might not get that option. If you're using Google Chrome, it might just save it anyway. And then just check your downloads folder to see if the zip is there. So I'm going to close that now because I've already downloaded it. It's right here. It's called ttb.zip. So we're going to come back to that later. The first thing I want to do is create a new Minecraft world. So let's just go single player, create a new world, and you can call it whatever you like. My world, TTB. Now you have to set this to creative mode. You don't have to, but it might help. Um, so I'm just going to start in creative mode. Um, create new world. Once you have created your new world, I want you to just check your resource packs and make sure you don't have any resource packs installed because it may interfere. Um, you can install them again later, but if you're having problems, then it might have to do with the resource packs that you're using. So now we're going to save and quit um, because we want to install TTB on this world now. So I, in Windows, you search up Run in your Start menu, and then you type in percent app data percent as seen here. Then you press OK. This will bring up a menu similar to what you can see here. I want you to go into dot .minecraft, then go into saves, and we called our world my world TTB. So we're going to double click that. So now we can see what's inside the world here. Now let's open up ttb.zip. So double click that. And all I want you to do is select all of this, drag it, and drop it in. Just like that. Don't do anything else. Don't put the resource pack in your resources file. Um, and if it asks you about um, replacing stuff, then please click replace, because that's what you want to do. It is sort of like a mod after all. We can finally close all this. And now I'm just going to go back into that world. Now it should have the TTB icon there. If it doesn't, then you've done something wrong, basically. So click that, and then it will load the world. And then it should say something like this. It should say scoreboard successfully set up for whoever the player is. And then a lobby is created if need be. Oh dear. I will fix that bug, I promise. <laughs> this won't happen. Jeez. So as you can see here, you can see some options. Like you can see who, who created everything. Thanks guys, appreciate that. Um, now if you see a mage here, then that means everything is installed fine. You've done well. Um, if it doesn't look like a mage, it will probably look like an iron hoe, then that means your resource pack isn't installed correctly. This can happen on servers, so if you're joining someone else's server, then you will need to put the resources.zip into your resource packs folder. That's only for servers though. So anyway, let's go up here. And if you stand on this, then you will exit that little lobby that we had, and you can start playing TTB as normal. Except there's one thing I want to do, I just want to type in forge slash game mode zero. Remember, you can start your world in survival mode if you wish, um, but I just did a creative world just for an example here. Now, if you like to play in creative mode, then you may have noticed that none of the machines or custom items or spawn eggs are available in the creative menu because that's just something that vanilla Minecraft doesn't support. So if you do want that, then make sure you're in a creative world with cheats enabled and just type in forward slash give at p structure block place that down um, don't worry this won't install ttb anymore this is just so we can get the items so we're just setting this to um, ttb mode and you can set this to whatever doesn't matter turn this on and we're just going to call this get underscore items click load and then click load again and then this will just basically give you access to all the custom items. So if I look in here, then you can see the Volcanium and Amethyst and all that great stuff. Uh, let's go in here and you can see uh, some of the machines. So um, by the way, machines, you don't place them down by right clicking. That won't work. You got to throw them on the ground. So 
don't submit that as a bug report. If you are playing in version 0.6 and you want to update to version 0.7, what I want you to do is go into your version 0.6 world and remove all the machines and put them into a chest, like so. Um, and then after you've done that, I want you to remove the giant TTB structure. So you can do this by just typing in forward slash fill and then tab, 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 like that, or you can use MC edit, or you can just break the whole thing by hand, but that will take ages. And then go all the way up here, T up, tab, 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 air. And that will basically remove the whole thing. There might be some armor stands left over. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type forward slash kill, at a type equals armor stand, C equals one, and that will just remove the nearest armor stand to you. I know it's a little bit frustrating to do, um, but that's just the way we got to do it. And then you can remove all these items, of course. Um, and then you got to exit your world and then install 0 0.7 in the same way you would normally. Um, just replace all the files and do all that great stuff. Um, some of the items won't work anymore. Um, I know the spirit canisters will, um, but the individual abilities won't. So if you're having trouble obtaining and getting the items that you want, then just create that get items structure and and just cheat in your items that way, is what I should say. Um, hopefully in future versions it won't be that complicated, but we'll see. I want to spend the rest of this video talking about some common mistakes people make um, when dealing with um, the various features in the Tempest's box. So the first one I mentioned earlier, you don't right click to place down a custom machine, you have to press Q. Uh, it will be this way until Mojang um, adds a model tag, which I've put in a suggestion video card on the screen. Um, the other problem is, is that people just expect it to uh, work automatically. That's how it used to work in version 0.6. Um, now, to make a machine work, then you have to place a button on the top, or you could just power it using redstone. Make sure it powers the top, though. Um, the bottom won't work, it has to be powered from the top. So, yeah, we can just, we can just activate it with redstone, like this. Okay, um, now that didn't actually do anything. It actually tells you that there's no power, because now you actually need a tempite container. Uh, you throw that on the ground, put some amethyst inside, all right? Um, not exactly like this, just one amethyst will do. And it will take a while before the machine absorbs the amethyst, so we'll just wait for that to happen. There we go. And then you should see some white particles connecting the machines. So this, this tempite container now will power anything within um, 10 blocks of it. So if I were to place one of these block breakers uh, way over here, then it won't work because it's just too far away. It will give you that no power message again. So let's go back over here and when we trigger this, yes, it works. It actually breaks the block below it because it is a block breaker after all. When you want to remove a machine, don't remove it from the top, remove it from the bottom and then you should get the machine back like so. If you try and summon a normal mob with a normal spawn egg, so this is a spawn zombie egg, then it will actually um, become custom depending on the biome that it's inside. If you want to bypass this, then please use the summon command. So forward slash summon zombie. And basically I'm going to give it a tag using the tags tag. So I'm going to call it found. And if you give it the found tag, then uh, basically it won't get replaced. So you don't have to worry about it. See how the bottom of the world is part obsidian, part bedrock. Don't tamper with this, otherwise you may get structures spawning in places that you don't want them to. If you are on a server, please, please, please enable command blocks, otherwise nothing will work. If you're running a server, then you can put your custom saves onto your server host um, using FTP files. It will change depending on the host, of course. There are one of two things that you need to do to get your players the resource pack. One, you can... Uh, have the automatic install, uh, which again depends on uh, your server host, or you could give each person the resources.zip individually and get them to put that in their resources pack folder, and that should work for them. Some computers can't handle the Tempest's box, but there are ways you can improve lag. So at the moment, I've deliberately made my world super, super laggy so you can see what the lag might look like. So if I just punch this sheep, you can see it floats and it's just absolutely awful. Uh, because of the lag here. Now, to reduce this, what I can do is I can go to my uh, video settings, and I've got 30 chunk render distance right now, which is massive. So I'm going to reduce this down to uh, 15 chunks, 
so you can see exactly what kind of difference render distance has. So you, you saw how slowly that sheet was moving. Let's pre punch another one. That's so much better. The render distance does matter when it comes to lag. Same with other video settings, uh, like you might want to reduce your particles, you might want to turn your smooth lighting down, you might want to change your graphics. Optifine, when it comes out for 1.12, will also greatly reduce the amount of lag that you have if you choose to install that as well. If you encounter any more bugs or if anything feels overpowered or underpowered, please let me know on my subreddit www.reddit.com forward slash r forward slash dragon 014. Go to that place and please submit any bug reports you can and I will update the world download to fix those for you. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoy TTB.